When it comes to underused weapons in Armored Core 6, the morally spread bazooka comes to mind. Now don't get me wrong, every now and then I will come across a build that uses it, oftentimes on a bipedal that has the misfortune of being easily countered while in the firing stance. However, when you take these weapons and place them on a build that can remain mobile the entire time, well, you get something truly capable of dishing out some serious damage. You hate to see it, first match going up against an energy meta tank. Well, on the bright side, this map does not favor either of our builds because it is not tank friendly whatsoever. Back to back stagger, I'll take it. Double Morley's putting in the work on a tank build that's arguably superior to mine. That was honestly insane. I can't believe how well these spread bazookas are performing, let alone this build being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an energy tank, because we've all faced them in ranked, and no matter what build you're running, they are a pain to go up against. Now I wish I tried something like this when wheelchair builds were at their peak. They're still fun, but nowhere near as advantageous as they once were. A close range AC like this is usually frustrating, but going up against what I'm running, they are probably going to have a tough time, even with a shield. Not sure why my kick just did a love tap there. As I was saying, the explosive thrower alone is probably the bane of the existence of most close range builds. Add two Morleys on top of it, and you are going to have a bad time. What's with that random double tap? There's scorched earth left behind! There's nothing left of them! Might just be the Operation Old Gen emblem that's throwing me off, but this looks like an AC straight out of Gen 3. I could be wrong because I don't quite recognize it. Either way, sick looking build.
Wish I could run into more players like this in ranked when I'm using my old gen ACs. Unfortunately, it always seems to be meta build after meta build, regardless of rank. Can't even be mad about that one. Well played. Who would have thought you could even use the Morley to shoot fireworks? GG's. Dual Atsujins. I'm glad they were buffed in 1.06. I just wish they would have given the other rapid fire options the same treatment. Because as it stands now, there is only one viable weapon in that category. And it's the Atsujin. Not gonna lie, it is very satisfying landing point-blank Morley shots. It never gets old. This build was a blast to make, no pun intended, and I truly believe that the Morley would see more play if players would simply build around it properly and see more success as a result. If you enjoyed this, please, be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and until next time, Take care.